Well, nearly seven decades after the Holocaust, we now live in a day when anti-Semitism is on the rise. Some even worry another Holocaust is within the realm of possibility. The most dangerous thing is what could happen again. And I don't see it very fast, uh, very far or impossible. Israel has expressed concern over terror groups like Hezbollah possessing missiles that have the ability to hit anywhere inside the Jewish state. Here to tell us more about the rise of world anti-Semitism is Susanna Kakonin. She is director of the Christian Friends of Yad Vashem, the National Holocaust Memorial Museum in Jerusalem. Susanna, we have all heard about Iran's threats to wipe Israel off the map, but the chief rabbi of France recently warned that there may be no place for Jews there because of the rise of anti-Semitism. How widespread is this? Well, one thing that we need to realize is that anti-Semitism is not something um, like a chapter that began and ended but it's rather an ongoing thing, um, something that different crises in economy or politics, politics bring up in different societies at different times. And at this moment, when we hear these warnings from so many different places in the world, we cannot deny that anti-Semitism is widespread. And, and it exists in places where we might not think that it exists. And therefore, we all need to be fighting it at this time in history. Anti-Semitism is a terrible chapter in the history of the last 2,000 years and more, like you're saying, but what is fueling this growth in anti-Semitic activity today? Well, one thing is that anti-Semitism is like a virus that changes its, um, its form so that we don't find a vaccination that is effective against it. So all the different forms of anti-Semitism, whether the traditional Christian anti-Semitism or the socio-economic anti-Semitism or even the racial anti-Semitism, they have somehow survived until our day. And so when we speak about rise of anti-Semitism, I would say that it's more that it may have been dormant, but it has never really disappeared. And what is driving it today, we would have to look at the different developments in, in the world stage, um, uh, different nations, and we would try to find the motives. But I would say that the more important, the most important thing for us is to stand up and fight anti-Semitism, regardless of what the reasons, but we as Christians, we have to stand by the state of Israel today and with the Jewish communities living in our countries. What can Christians do specifically to help? Well, I, need, I think we need to be educated. And one of the things that Yad Vashem is trying to do is to invite Christians to come and study what are the consequences of anti-Semitism. And we need to fight it together with the Jewish communities. And we need to educate ourselves and we need to be a voice for the Jewish communities and on their behalf. And I think the greatest thing that Christians can do today is to stand by the state of Israel and, and even to come to Yad Vashem and study and understand what happens when anti-Semitism is allowed to exist in a society. All right, Susanna Kakonin, once again, the director of the Christian Friends of Yad Vashem, which is the National Holocaust Memorial Museum in Jerusalem. Susanna, thanks for your time today. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me.